Residents of Jos, the Plateau State Capital, have joined other Nigerians who have been expressing divergent views on President Tinubu's New Year broadcast to the nation. During the Monday address, the president promised to lead the country out of its wars, calling on Nigerians to be patient, saying there is light at the end of the tunnel. Trust TV's Adu Musa has more on the report. Evaluation, monitoring and delivery units in the presidency to make sure that governance during his Monday broadcast to the nation, improved. President Tinubu, who acknowledged the socio-economic challenges currently facing Nigerians, however said he believes that such difficulties could be overcome, while also acknowledging that the economic hardship resulted from the removal of fuel subsidy in 2023. The president nevertheless expressed hope that things would improve in 2024, reassuring Nigerians that tough times never last. For some residents, the promises might actualize, while others say Nigerians should not draw conclusions until the president fails to deliver the promises contained in the speech. It shows that he knows that what is happening is not good to Nigerians, but he gave them he gave them hope that there is going to be a change. That's what normally happens when a president is giving a speech of this nature. It happens like that. They shows that they know what is happening. But along the line, after that speech, implementation is what matters. Do they really do what they need for to see that they salvage or bring all Nigerians out of the extreme poverty that they are into? I think that's what we should wait and see. Since this is just seven months since the president assumed office. So he has so much time to do what it takes to uh, help Nigerians. Well, to me, this speech is not something new to Nigerians because this has been the tradition. And in fact, even uh, if you look at the speech, it's not something different from the past administration sp uh, speeches. Um, you recall that prior to the 2023 elect general elections, the president mentioned that he's going to continue on the legacy of past administration, which is the uh, previous administration of President Muhammadu Bahari, which Nigerians have rated that administration below average. So if indeed the administration of President Ahmed Bola Tinibu is going, to, is going to continue on the trajectory of the past administration, Nigerians will not see the dividends of democracy. Uh, as a Nigerian, uh, the present speech is a welcome idea, but based on some promises he made behind, which we have not seen it forthcoming, it sometimes discourages Nigerian on the reality on ground. Uh, nevertheless, we are still hoping that what he said might be done as he said. So my own take, my own opinion, rather. On his speech is that looking at the current situation and from our past experience with uh, past previous uh, government, we don't, I can't just say that we will believe on what he has said until we see it. So we have to wait till we see some evidence, see some works going on before we can start or to rather believe on his speech. But currently what we believe is that he just, his speech like every other person. Dr. Issa Abdullahi is a lecturer at the Federal University, Kashere. He said, the president promises to the country could be achieved if everyone lends a hand. Um, I think um, uh, President uh, Tinubu made mention of uh, electricity generation. He made mention of uh, increment in salaries for workers this year. And um, he has uh, resolved for the, Niger the resolution of Nigerians to live in peace, uh, unity and harmony. Um, he has made mention of all these things. But then I think um, 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 we can achieve electricity at least to an, a, a meaningful level. Uh, we can get generation of electricity beyond what we have at the rate of our five, five megawatt today we can generate it if we are really serious considering the fact uh, government has increased salary has has increased the pump price of uh, petroleum products and it can also as well implement the new salary scale it is, is new salary scale for workers and the workers could have a better uh, standard of living in the country but then the the the, the quest to have unity progress in nigeria is is within the government and from the other side our own you know resolution to live in peace as citizens counts a lot 
no matter the effort of the government if citizens don't feel they should live in peace they will always have problems here and there so we need to to imbibe the culture of being united and uh, moving as a single country and as an entity despite past leaders making numerous pledges to improve the country without success many nigerians are now eager to see how soon the president's promises will translate into actionable policies that will benefit the generality of Nigerians. Adomusa, Trust TV News, Joss. Business competitiveness in Nigeria, and I will not hesitate to remove any clog hindering our path.